Hello and welcome to the Trendy Coffee Podcast with me, James Hammond. I'll be bringing you trendy coffees from all around the world in any city, any country, anywhere. Grab yourself a trendy coffee, strap in and join me on my journey as I seek out trendy coffees all around the world. We are in Seoul at today's Trendy Coffee episode and we're at Josh Willow Coffee. So let's go in. in Seoul in South Korea and we're at a trendy location called Josh Willow Coffee. These guys are situated at the metro station called Jongno 4 Gu. So pop that into Google and you'll find that as a metro station. But this is a super classy establishment as you can see behind me. Fantastic looking coffee place and they have great mugs with their name on it. First of all these guys are open from 8 till 10, Monday to Friday, and on the weekend, 10 till 10. They're just above a 7-Eleven, so you go to the right of 7-Eleven, you'll see on the intro, up some stairs to the left, and you're in here. The menu is extensive here, they have hot and iced coffees and teas as well. We've gone for Americano, of course, and that costs 4,001, which is roughly 4 Canadian dollars. In terms of food, not much going on at all. There's a few cakes in the cabinet, and that is it. This is purely a coffee or a drink place only. Prices wise, 4001 is fairly normal for South Korea and Seoul, but it's fairly expensive on a normal scale from any country. So be prepared to pay between probably three, you might get three, at like a real local place that does Americano on the side, but establishments are definitely five to six thousand watt. This coffee looks and smells great. Mmm, yeah, can't wait to taste this. Got Miles Davis in the background, very trendy. Let's give it a go. Oh wow, that's got an interesting taste. Mm. Oh yeah, very nice. Got a definitely distinct taste to that, uh, despite being an espresso americano blend. But that, I like it. It's almost quite nutty, I think. Mm. Very interesting. Love that. I'll be finishing that off in a second. The vibe. It, it's quite quiet when we came in about quarter to ten in the morning. I assume the work rush has already happened. We're on a Tuesday here, so people at work are already and, and at school as well. Quite quiet. But these guys obviously open at eight for those people. But very comfortable seats. I mean, look at this. Absolute luxury here. And they have probably enough seating for 40 to 50 people. I'm not sure if there's an extra upstairs bit. Can't confirm that. The stairs does carry on. Maybe not. But if this is just it, this is definitely spacious enough. And you've got the added view of some windows here and the view of Seoul Tower just over here. And of course, the surrounding area. This area is quite nice. Lots of big buildings, lots of businesses, a nice walk by the river down there. Super cool area. So overall, fantastic taste in coffee. An easy location to get to because it's right by a metro station. And it's walkable from our location where we're staying about five minutes. The prices are fairly standard, so not too expensive, but not too cheap. And it's a drink only place, trendy, chic look, trendy cups. I love the name on the cup as well. And also, decent water as an accompaniment to that, which is not always the case at our cafes. So fantastic. Get yourself here, get Americano, get tasting this. Mm. Thanks for checking out Josh Willow Coffee today. A lovely little place quite hidden a little bit in Seoul but if you get to the Jongnu Gu area and take a chance on this place because I love the inside I love the view over Seoul I love the coffee too love the vibe great price very comfortable 
and you won't regret visiting. I'm going to give Josh Willow 9 out of 10 for Trinity's rating score today. Ticks a lot of boxes and I just think this is a place that doesn't get the limelight that it should. So I'm going to showcase it now. Go and visit Seoul for coffee. Make sure you go to Josh Willow and support these local guys. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you next time. Subscribe today on YouTube. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok and you can also rate and review on any of your podcast platforms that you use for your podcasts. Thank you.